Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Team City on Ubuntu EC2 instance. So Team City is one of the continuous integration tools. Uh, it will work similar to Circle CI or Jenkins and other uh, CI tool. Using Team City, you know, you can set up CI pipeline. Team City actually works with uh, most of the version control system, where you, know, where you can uh, check out the code and you can automate your uh, build process, okay? So in this video, we are going to learn how to set it up on Ubuntu EC2 instance, okay? So guys, you know, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Okay, so if you look at the pre-request, we need to have Ubuntu EC2 instance that has at least 4 GB RAM, and we also need to open up port 8111 as well because that is the default port for Team City. Okay, and of course, we also uh, need to install PostgreSQL because uh, Team City needs a database. So we are going to use PostgreSQL as this is a open source. Okay, and then if you also see here, uh, Team City is a Java based tool. So we need to install Java here, right? Uh, and then we would be downloading a uh, Team City. So this is the version, you know, we are going to download. Uh, from uh, JetBrains website okay it's going to come as a tar file we are going to extract that uh, you know and then uh, we are going to uh, configure that and then we are going to create a service file so that you know we can start uh, team city right and then you know we are going to access the U UI uh, you know this is where you know we are going to connect with uh, Postgres SQL okay Awesome. So let's get started, guys. Okay. So I'm going to go to AWS console, and um, so I'm in my AWS console. So let's quickly create the EC2 instance. Okay. Launch instance. I'm going to do Ubuntu. Let's go with uh, T2 dot medium review and launch. And we need to open up port number, which is 8111. Okay, launch it and go with the existing key. Launch. Okay, so my instance is being launched, I'm connected to my EC, EC2 instance. Okay, so let's get started. So we are going to start with PostgreSQL installation. Okay, so let's uh, get started here. Okay, I'm going to download the key and then start installing it. Perfect, right? So our Postgres SQL is up and running. And uh, what we can do now, we can log in into Postgres. Okay, so I'm going to do a sudo user. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is, you know, we need to create a user called team city why because we are going to uh, connect postgresql to the team city ui right so for that you know you have to create the user and then of course we also need to correspond create a corresponding uh, database schema as well as the username and password so i'm going to set up a password for the team city user as a password of course if you want to change it uh, you know you can change it here and i'm going to create the schema as a team city schema and then i'm going to come out of it and then i'm going to exit from postgres okay so now i am back to ubuntu perfect right so now we can go ahead and then uh, configure team city but before that we need to install uh, java because team city is a java based application oh okay and then let's go with here So right now it is in the process of uh, installing Java. So perfect. So Java is installed. Let's quickly validate that. Perfect, right? So we have this version. Okay, fantastic. And then we can go ahead and download Team City, right? So Team City is going to come as a tar file. Okay, so we are going to download that. So basically, you know, if you are wondering where I downloaded or from where you can download this, you know, you can go to this website. Okay, city download, right? 
So basically, you know, this is the link, right? So you can just, uh, you know, you can just download, right? So that's the link, you know, I'm just talking about, right? So that's what, you know, I have uh, mentioned, uh, you know, over here, okay? So that is what, you know, we have mentioned over here, okay? Great, so let's go ahead and then download that. Loaded, okay, and then we are going to extract that, right? So let's go ahead and then extract that. Okay, and then I'm going to create this folder, okay, because you know that is where you know we are going to move whatever we have extracted, okay. So that's what I'm doing right now, okay. And then if I log in into that particular folder, see, yes, so we have you know moved everything you know under this particular folder, okay. So that's our Team City, okay. Perfect. So now Team City has been extracted. Now what we need to do is you know. Uh, I'm going to create a service file, okay, where you know you we can uh, start uh, Team City by using this command, right? Okay, so I'm going to create that uh, init D file. Once I do that, let's save this and then come out of it, okay? And then I'm going to give uh, some permission for that particular file, okay? And then I'm going to perform this command, okay? And then you know, and then you can go ahead and then start Team City, right? So this is the command. Okay, as you can see here, it says that Team City has started the build agent, right? And then we can also see that you know this is the home directory and whatnot, right? So it's going to take a few seconds, okay, for uh, for Team City to come up. But let's do one thing. Let's actually go ahead and then access the log. So, okay, see here. So right now it is in the process of uh, bringing it up. Okay. So why don't we go to uh, browser and then access. Okay. So let's copy this. And then go to browser and then say 8111 because that is the default port for Team City. Wow, see here now it is in the process of uh, coming up, right? So, what we need to do is um, we need to uh, click on proceed here, okay? So, this would initialize the Team City data directory, and then okay, so this is where you know we have to choose our database uh, setup, right? As we have already configured Postgres, so I'm going to go ahead with this option. But you know, you can also use uh, another database as well, or whichever the database you know uh, you prefer. You can also use that; so it doesn't matter. Okay, but we are going to go with Postgres SQL since we set up that already. All right, and then here we just have to provide our information, right? Our database information and whatnot. Since Postgres is you know installed on the same machine, I'm going to give that as localhost. And if you guys remember the database name, we had the given that as Team City, correct? And then username also Team City, right? And then we did not uh, oh we did set up a password, so I'm going to give as a password as well, right? Password as a password, right? So if you are wondering where all those information is coming from, over here, right? Team City. This is a username. This is the password, and this is the database name, right? Database name. Okay, and then we also need to download the uh, JDBC driver as well. Okay, so how to do that? I have provided uh, instructions over here. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, so we need to go to this particular uh, directory. Let me come out of the log file. Okay, and then we are going to download the JDBC driver, Postgres SQL JDBC driver, okay. Wow, so once you do that, then, you know, we should be able to uh, proceed here, okay. So click on proceed. Okay, so now uh, Team City UI is, you know, connecting to the database and then it is, you know, creating the required 
uh, tables and uh, you know other things needed it's going to take uh, you know a couple of minutes or so great so let's go down and then we need to accept the license agreement and of course you don't have to send so let me say continue wow see here so our uh, team city is set up and all you have to do is you know configure the admin uh, user right so i'm going to do admin admin it's up to you you can give any password and then say create account Okay, so here, you know, you can go ahead and then provide other information as well. Okay, so yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you can configure TeamCity on Ubuntu EC2 instance. Thank you for watching.